The power of positive thinking, the law of attraction, these can only be good things, right? Well, yes and no. Uh, there's a good side, but they can also be used to have the exact opposite effect of making you happy and healthy and fulfilled. Today I'm going to show you six examples of positive thinking and the law of attraction gone a little off course plus one bonus that I just couldn't resist. But before we do that, my name's Melissa. If you're into personal growth and development and mindfulness uh, in a practical way for real life that's not too woo-woo, please subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos come out. So let's get to it. We all just want to live our best lives. Sometimes we mistakenly think that means being happy and positive all the time. And that's not really living. Living fully is being present in the moment as it is. And sometimes positive thinking and the law of attraction go directly against mindful living. Okay, example number one, you can't get much done in life if you only work on days when you feel good. So I don't love this particular quote. I'll show you one that I prefer. So instead of that, I prefer this. Dark times teach you a lot. That's why you can't regret what you went through, but rather be thankful for all the lessons that it taught you. Meaning days where you don't feel so good, that's okay. There's a place for that. On to the next one. Everything will happen for you all of a sudden and you'll be thankful you didn't give up. Blessings are coming. Believe that. Quotes like this kind of get under my skin. I know they're meant to be motivational and inspirational and give you hope for the future. The thing is, when you're always looking forward to the future, you're not fully being present. So instead of that, I prefer this. Happiness isn't about getting what you want all the time. It's about loving what you have and being grateful for it. And there it is. If you're always looking ahead, you're never fully embracing and being mindful of where you are right now. Next up, ain't chasing nothing but a better life. Now you might be seeing a theme here. Chasing, not okay where you are. Moving forward, better dissatisfaction with where you are right now. So instead of that, I prefer this. Never let the things you want make you forget the things that you have. Ah, uh, this next one. If it doesn't bring you energy, inspiration, or orgasms, it doesn't belong in your life. Let me read that again. If it doesn't bring you energy, inspiration, or orgasms, it doesn't belong in your life. <laughs> really, 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 wow. So instead of that, I prefer this. If you believe everything happens for a reason, then trust whatever you need will come and go from your life at precisely the right time. So basically everything belongs in your life. Good, bad, indifferent, it's there for a reason. Okay, I see a lot of these. The money's coming. The new home is coming. The new job is coming. The breakthrough is coming. The good health is coming. The new business is coming. The financial freedom is coming. The love is coming. Wow, that's a lot coming. But what do you have right now? And if you don't have any of that, you kind of feel crappy about what you have right now. So instead of that, I prefer this. What's here today can be gone in a flash, so treasure the time that you have while it lasts. Those six lines, mindfulness in a nutshell. I just noticed that my tattoo kind of matches my butterfly. That's weird. Ah, uh, yeah, here's another one of my favorites. Work while they sleep, learn while they party, save while they spend, live like the dream. Okay, so while you're doing all that, where does the actual living come in? Sounds to me like you're living to work, not working to live. So instead of that, I prefer this. 
I will never have this version of me again. Let me slow down and be with her. Yes, yes, mindfulness. Stop rushing, stop achieving, stop grasping. Start living presently, now, fully. And my final one, and uh, yeah. Money can't buy you happiness, but poverty can't buy anything. Yeah, that's all I got. I don't even have a this to that. I have a this to. Anyway, what do you think about the positivity movement and mindset and the law of attraction? Please let me know below. Also, a thumbs up, a subscription, hitting the bell icon will do a whole bunch to help me grow my channel. Again, it's designed uh, for people who are into personal growth and mindfulness in a not too woo-woo type of way. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Subscribe to the blog of MaximizeLife.com, on Instagram, a.maximize.life, on Twitter, a Maximize Life, and on YouTube, a Maximize Life. Two X's. Talk to you soon.